The Indo-Pacific skies in 2026 represent the most contested and technologically dense airspace on the planet. As regional tensions continue to shape procurement strategies, a fundamental shift in aerial doctrine is unfolding. For decades, air superiority was defined by the prowess of the lone pilot in a multi-million dollar stealth platform. However, the emergence of the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon and Australia's rapid development of the MQ-28 Ghost Bat has introduced a new paradigm, the Wolfpack AI versus the fifth generation Titan. This transition marks the end of traditional dogfighting and the beginning of a high-stakes chess match, where algorithms and attrition rates determine the victor. The Chengdu J-20 remains the primary pillar of the People's Liberation Army Air Force's regional ambitions. By early 2026, defense analysts estimate that China has successfully fielded over 250 of these airframes, significantly outnumbering any single fleet of fifth-generation fighters in the Southern Hemisphere. The J-20 is a formidable platform, designed for long-range interception and the suppression of enemy radar networks. Equipped with the PL-15 and the even longer-ranged PL-17 air-to-air -air missiles, the J-20 is capable of targeting critical tankers and early warning aircraft from hundreds of kilometers away. Its stealth characteristics, while debated among Western experts, have undergone significant refinement, making it a difficult target for conventional radar systems to track with high fidelity. Facing this massive quantitative and qualitative surge, the Royal Australian Air Force has recognized that matching the J-20 on a one-to-one -one basis is both economically unsustainable and strategically risky. Australia currently operates a fleet of 72 F-35A Lightning II aircraft, supplemented by F-A-18F Super Hornets. In a direct confrontation, even a superior kill ratio would eventually bleed the Royal Australian Air Force of its most precious assets, its highly trained pilots. Each pilot represents decades of investment and millions of dollars in training, making them an irreplaceable resource in a prolonged conflict. This vulnerability led to the conception of the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, the first combat aircraft designed and built in Australia in over 50 years. The MQ-28 Ghost Bat, developed by Boeing Australia, is the physical embodiment of the loyal wingman concept. Unlike the J-20, which is a heavy manned interceptor costing upwards of $100 million per unit, the Ghost Bat is an attritable, unmanned platform with a price tag estimated at less than $5 million. This price discrepancy is the cornerstone of Australia's new impactful projection strategy. By utilizing artificial intelligence, the Ghost Bat is designed to fly alongside manned fighters, acting as a sensor, a shield, or a weapon carrier. It is a force multiplier that allows a single F-35A to command a squadron of drones, effectively turning a lone aircraft into a distributed network of sensors and shooters. The tactical Wolfpack strategy is specifically designed to neutralize the advantages of a platform like the J-20. In a simulated engagement over the Timor Sea or the South China Sea, a group of ghost bats would lead the formation, flying hundreds of kilometers ahead of the manned F-35A. These drones would purposefully emit radar signals or use advanced electronic warfare suites to mimic the signature of a full fighter wing. For a J-20 pilot, the decision-making process becomes a nightmare. If the J-20 engages the Ghost Bats, it reveals its own position and depletes its limited internal missile bay on low-cost drones. Once the J-20's position is compromised and its weapons are spent, the F-35A, safely positioned at the rear, can launch long-range precision strike missiles or coordinate with the Wolf Pack to finish the engagement. The concept of attritability is perhaps the most significant psychological shift for modern air forces. In the traditional Australian mindset, losing an aircraft is a national tragedy. However, the Ghost Bat is designed to be lost if necessary. If a $5 million drone can intercept a missile intended for a $100 million F-35A, 
or if it can force a J-20 to retreat by simply existing in the same airspace, it has fulfilled its mission. This creates a quantity has a quality of its own effect, but driven by technology rather than raw numbers. The Royal Australian Air Force can afford to lose dozens of ghost bats in a campaign, but the People's Liberation Army Air Force cannot easily replace J-20s or the veteran pilots who fly them. Furthermore, the Ghost Bat offers a level of modularity that the J-20 lacks. The aircraft features a removable nose section that can be swapped out in under two hours. Depending on the mission, a Ghost Bat can be configured with an infrared search and track system, an electronic jamming suite, or additional kinetic weaponry. This flexibility ensures that the Australian Defence Forces can adapt to Chinese technological breakthroughs in real time. If the J-20 receives an upgrade to its radar, Australia can simply deploy a new sensor nose for the Ghost Bat, rather than overhauling the entire airframe. This rapid iteration is a key component of AUKUS Pillar 2, which focuses on advanced capabilities and artificial intelligence. However, a multi-dimensional analysis must also consider the challenges facing Australia's drone-centric approach. Artificial intelligence in combat remains an emerging field. The Wolf Pack relies heavily on resilient data links. If China successfully jams the communication between the F-35A and its ghost bats, the drones may lose their effectiveness or revert to pre-programmed, less flexible behaviors. Moreover, the J-20 is not a static threat. Chinese engineers are reportedly working on their own loyal wingman programs, such as the FH-97A, which seeks to replicate the Ghost Bat's advantages. The race is no longer just about who has the better jet, but who has the more secure and intelligent cloud network in the sky. From a sovereign industrial perspective, the Ghost Bat represents a triumph for Australian engineering. The project has involved over 35 Australian companies, fostering a domestic aerospace ecosystem that reduces dependence on overseas supply chains. This is a critical factor for the Australian public, who are increasingly vocal about defence spending. The investment of several hundred million dollars into a domestic program is viewed more favourably than the multi-billion dollar offshore acquisitions of the past. It creates high-tech jobs in Queensland and South Australia, while ensuring that the intellectual property remains in Canberra's hands. In conclusion, the rivalry between the Chengdu J-20 and the MQ-28 Ghost Bat is a microcosm of the broader shift in global security. China's strategy emphasizes mass, long-range stealth and regional dominance through a high-cost, high-performance fleet. Australia's response is characterized by agility, artificial intelligence, and a calculated embrace of attrition. By leveraging the Wolfpack AI concept, Australia is not attempting to outbuild its neighbor in a traditional arms race. Instead, it is redefining the rules of engagement. As 2026 progresses, the Ghost Bat stands as a testament to the idea that in the era of digital warfare, the smartest predator, not necessarily the largest, will control the skies. The success of this strategy will ultimately depend on the seamless integration of human intuition with machine precision, ensuring that the Royal Australian Air Force remains a potent, if compact, force in a rapidly changing world.